Good afternoon once again and welcome to our webinar on Sprinting for Success. Today we're looking at an agile performance management and how it can be incorporated into your appraisal and professional development processes. This is part of a series of webinars that we are running to highlight some of the key issues facing education. Some productive practices and an opportunity to display some of the solutions that we have available. So let's start with some very brief introductions. My name is Damien Roberts. I am one of the directors and co-founders of Deventio Education. We're based in Derby in the UK and we're an education focused software house, which is primarily responsible for uh, developing uh, school IP. We've been in business since 2006 and we now work with uh, thousands of schools and colleges and educational institutions across the globe. And I've shared my contact details here and please do get in touch if you want any further information. There are also links here to our social media channels. Uh, we pride ourselves on keeping these updated with the latest information in terms of school improvement and college improvements. So please join the conversation there. Please follow, like and share. So what are we going to discuss today? Well, the presentation is split into three parts and doesn't just include slides, but an interactive look at our agile performance management tool, school IP or college IP. Firstly, we'll discuss what are agile sprints? What are they and, and why do we need them? Secondly, we'll introduce some of the benefits of implementing sprints for both staff and the school or college. And then finally, We'll show you how you can implement these sprints into your professional development reviews. So on to our first section on what are agile sprints and, and why do we need them? So what are agile sprints? Agile performance management is an approach to motivating staff performance nurturing their development and aligning these objectives under the school or college priorities. Agile performance management focuses on frequent measurement, continuous performance feedback and incremental improvement throughout the year rather than an annual appraisal cycle with one or maybe two review meetings. key point of switching to agile performance management and sprints in particular is the setting of objectives and key results or OKRs. There's a lot of documentation available on the web about this topic and it is implemented by many successful software companies including Google. Indeed more recently we've also adopted these OKRs for our team at Deventio Education Basically, it helps to identify what it is that staff and our organisation need to achieve and what success would look like at the end of this process or on achieving these objectives. Following on from setting these OKRs, we need to then frequently measure the performance against the desired results. One of the biggest problems with the current process of staff appraisal and professional development reviews is that they're seen as a tick box exercise. Staff are set targets at the start of the academic year and then sometimes do not touch base with their line manager until well into the spring or summer term, if at all. In agile performance management, there is a need for constant communication to create positive and meaningful relationships. An ongoing dialogue also helps identify problems as they arise and deal with them effectively before they begin to get in the way of staff development. Therefore, agile performance management eases the anxiety associated with traditional performance appraisal. Staff are more involved in the process and regular updates ensure that goals are clear and achievable and support is available too. Work is also divided into bite sized chunks or sprints and therefore becomes more manageable. Surely anything that we can do to relieve the anxiety for staff 
of traditional appraisal is a welcome addition to any education establishment. So on to the next section, what are the benefits of sprints? So what are the benefits of sprints and agile performance management? In order to establish the benefits, we need to look at the differences between traditional performance management, which dictates what staff should do, as opposed to agile performance management, which increases collaboration. So rather than something that is done to a staff member, agile performance management becomes a collaborative process where both the staff member and the line manager are working towards the same goals. Let's take a look at the traditional performance management process within schools and colleges. Most organisations have an appraisal meeting at the start of the academic year, an opportunity to set goals, share expectations, communicate a staff member's past performance and understand their career aspirations. Rather a lot of content to be fit into a single meeting. Staff then disappear maybe for a period of a whole year to set about achieving their goals and collating the evidence. And it's no wonder then that staff struggle to achieve their goals. Sometimes several months into the process, they can't even remember what goals were set. By the time the end of year review comes, staff uh, have not met their goals and there is no time to correct any issues and provide critical feedback which will impact their targets for this year. This process generates an awful lot of anxiety for staff and managers, and it's no surprise that appraisals are doomed to failure and are universally disliked. On the other hand, agile performance management delivers frequent check-ins or opportunities to reflect on progress and provide timely feedback and support, which can ultimately help to help the staff to achieve their goals. This ultimately delivers better outcomes for staff, managers and the school or college. And so finally, how can we set up these sprints and agile performance management in the IP suite? Rather than the uh, dictionary definition of a sprint being an act or short spell of running at full speed, in performance management terms, it means a set period of time during which specific tasks must be completed. The IP suite then is very flexible and allows for the setting of review periods, which are constrained by dates. These review periods can be for a very short period of time and you can run multiple of these sprints in a year, either end to end or concurrently. In a similar fashion, we find that schools and colleges are also uh, using these review periods for probationary periods and capability processes too. You can name these reviews however you choose to reflect your sprints. And then agile performance management should contain an online platform uh, for storing all your evidence and allowing reflection remotely and in person. It should have the ability to set goals and modify these goals as needed. An agile performance management system should include the ability to facilitate a continuous conversation via web and mobile devices. It should also support a coaching or a mentoring process too, with elements of 360 degree feedback from all stakeholders, including staff, students and parents. And there should also be a competency or skills framework and the ability to identify key areas for improvement identify training needs and record professional development activities. So let's let's take a look and uh, see how we can accomplish uh, some of these things in terms of sprints and agile uh, performance management inside um, the, the IP suite, the school IP, college IP software. So here I am logged into the school IP system. Now, as we uh, alluded to there during the presentation, 
the um, the basis of a sprint is that you can define a set period of time during which specific tasks must be completed. Now, within um, school IP or college IP in the IP suite, we have the ability to name our review periods. So indeed, we can even label them up as a sprint and we can define the date uh, date range for this particular exercise. Now, we've seen it used where schools or colleges will be implementing maybe a sprint that lasts for a half term or indeed a term. Uh, it, it's limited to a, a small number of goals that are achievable within that, that stretch of time. And then obviously there are regular check-ins and reporting back uh, on that process throughout. And so here within uh, the IP suite, you can actually create as many of these reviews or sprints uh, as you deem necessary. And of course, you can run those concurrently as well. And then in terms of the agile performance management, well, uh, the IP suite is perfectly uh, set up for this, really. It's an online platform. It's available on both um, the web in terms of through an internet browser, using any device, anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection, you can gain access to uh, your performance management suite. And then also to facilitate this process, we have the, uh, the mobile app here, which makes this super simple for staff to engage with the system. So if we're looking for this kind of continual conversation and dialogue and uploading of evidence, um, the mobile app is perfect. You can download it onto your Apple or Android devices. And inside the app, we've kept it nice and simple as well, where you're actually either adding to the conversation or you are using the camera on the device to take photographs and videos and upload that, that evidence into your sprint or your review. So the next aspect of an agile performance management system is the setting up of goals. Now, we have the ability to set these goals or objectives uh, on the left hand side here. You can identify any, any number of goals and these can be added at, at key points within the process as well. And you're able to uh, add the goals into the system, but also you can break these goals down uh, into a number of further actions. So again, if, it, if we've got quite a large or a broad goal within the system, we can then break this down into a number of manageable actions and then we can show progress towards completing that wider goal. And again, you can have as many uh, goals as you deem necessary as part of your sprint or your review. Now, the idea behind this kind of agile performance management is that we are having these sort of regular continuous conversations and as i alluded to there with the mobile app where you can add to the conversation you can be uploading photographs from your uh, mobile device and videos you can also do the same thing in the web-based system where you can be typing in your conversation or your blog here at the top you can then be posting that blog and it appears in this dialogue or evidence so that we have a running history of everything all the interactions um, throughout the period of this sprint or review. And in addition to that, you're able to drag and drop your files, um, uh, photographs, videos, anything you think is good evidence that you are working towards and achieving your goals. You can add that into the, the evidence there and that will appear as part of this dialogue as well. So the IP suite really does lend itself to that continuous conversation between both the staff member and the line manager. Now, we also extend that conversation so you can involve uh, any number of coaches. So you can actually add uh, any number of coaches into this conversation and the dialogue. And then we can be looking at different aspects, perhaps of teaching or, or other aspects of our work and asking those coaches to focus with the staff member in order to help them achieve their goals. So the coaching facility. Uh, really does open up that dialogue and engage with a number of key stake stakeholders. Now, in, a, in addition to the regular feedback that we have in terms of recording things like lesson observations, learning walks, work scrutiny, you can de define your own feedback forms in here. And also you can record 360 degree feedback where we can gain confidential peer review um, feedback from peers within your department or the wider school or college. And we can then reflect on those responses 
and feed that data back to the, the staff member. So you can have these, these feedback forms that can either be transparent and are freely available to the staff member, or we can actually hide them away and then the, the line manager can have a very important conversation in relaying that information back to the staff member. But it's also important to have a skills hierarchy. So whether you're reflecting on how you are performing against the latest teaching standards or whether you have competencies or a skills framework in there, you can actually align the skills with your organization and then you can reflect on how uh, you think you are doing perhaps against each of those skills. And that's a, a reflective practice that's completed by the staff member and or the, the reviewer or the, the line manager as well. And that can be done at key points again throughout the process. So we have this live feedback and we can be reacting to the judgments that are made here. Uh, and obviously, as you can understand, that would kickstart some of the conversations in terms of the, the overall sprint or review. And then in addition to having this dialogue and evidence, we actually have formal check ins. So you have the ability to sit down and have um, a face to face meeting or record this online as part of your check in. So you can add a check in into the system at any point. You can record the progress that's being made. And this will then take a snapshot of the goals, the feedback and where we are with our skills in terms of the, the, the current cycle. So nice and easy just to add in those those check ins and keep an evidence trail in terms of how we are uh, progressing. So the IP suite really does lend itself to this um, element of agile performance management and then separating this out into those sprints so that we can uh, capture that information and present it quickly and easily then to um, staff within the school. And so we have a series of reports that will enable us to see what are the staff goals, how are staff getting on with those goals within the system. And so it enables you very quickly and easily to actually interrogate either your department, your the, the wider school or college, uh, and even works across a group setting as well, whether it's a multi-academy trust or a federation or a college group. So the IP suite really does lend itself to being that sort of agile performance management system and supporting those sprints as well. So a summary of the key points, um, a sprint, as I said, is defined as a set period of time uh, during which specific tasks must be completed. And I've shown how that can be accommodated within the IP suite. And then the agile performance management should contain an online platform, the ability to do goal setting and to set those targets for staff. It should capture that continuous conversation and the coaching um, as well. So we can engage with third parties in terms of the coaching. We can also importantly provide that 360 degree feedback so we can gain feedback from other peers. And also there is a skills hierarchy in there as well so that we can capture those skills uh, within the system. So let's talk pricing. Well, the IP suite itself is priced from £595 to £2,985 for an annual subscription. And this is based upon the size of your school or college or education establishment. Now, there are free trials available, so we can work with you to set up uh, a smaller trial. We can, in fact, set up a sprint uh, on the back of this webinar and work through that process with you and some of your staff in order to make sure that you're happy with the process and happy that the IP suite uh, can tick those boxes in terms of that agile performance management system. There also uh, it's worth pointing out that this software is free for any groups. So if you are a multi academy trust, this is free for the central team. If you are a federation, again, free for the central team and indeed the college groups as well. So that enables you to engage with the system free of charge to try it and make sure that this is going to work for your colleges, for your uh, academies within your trust. So. Literally, we could get started today. So if you're interested, uh, do follow up on some of the contact details that I'll show you in just a moment.
So if you are interested in finding out more, you can always book a further demonstration by scanning the QR code here that's on screen. You can book an online demonstration at a date or time to suit you. Or if you'd prefer, you can contact us using the details here. So we've got a, um, an email address there where you can drop us an email. You can call us on 0333 Um Our hours of work are 8.30 till 4.30. Um, and then finally, I will uh, leave the, uh, the QR code up there again. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to book a demonstration, simply scan the QR code and uh, we look forward to talking to you more about sprints and how we can record uh, data within an agile performance management system. Thank you.